The College Meeting of Ohio came fiscal court to order on June the 22nd, 2021 at 5 p.m. I'm going to ask Josh Wright to lead us in a prayer and a face of flag. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we just come to you again. We thank you for all you do for us and all you do for our community. We ask you to be with these leaders here tonight as they make decisions. And may they make them in a way that would be pleasing to you. And uh, just forgive us when we fail you. And I just pray if somebody's here tonight and don't know you, that they'll come to know you before it's too late. And forgive us of our shortcomings. Amen. Amen. Let's play. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. Uh, before you have the minutes of the June the 8th meeting as well as the <coughs> special call meeting on June the 14th. I make a motion to approve. Motion by Sam Small. I'll second Sam Small. Second by Jason Bull. Is there any questions, corrections, or additions? Questions, corrections, or additions on the minutes? Is that for regular and special call? Yes. Yes. <coughs> Uh, no questions. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. The motion carries. Before you have the bills claimed, payments and transfers, including electric. Make a motion to accept bills, payments, transfers. Okay. Motion by Jason Bullock. Put the light list. I'll second. I'm just going to glance on the Second list. by Joe Bond. And did we get gold from Shovel Bay? Uh, that was turned in to for the TBA funds. I don't have an invoice turned in for anything. If it needs to be, uh, you can just make a motion when the invoice is presented to pay it. Right. We'll do that immediately after the bill claim so that we don't forget it. All right. Um, any other discussion? Questions on? Do we get all the siren sticks now? Yes. There are the, last Friday, all of them went off. Okay. Yeah, and I'd like to add too that Fordsville was down to about a minute. I don't know what happened there. What, what the change right. was? But you know what was wrong with Fordsville? No. Somebody turned it off. Oh, is that right? Yep. Uh, it's on for what now? About 45 seconds, a minute, or something like that? Uh, three minutes. Is it still three minutes? Yeah. We got to get the button working right dispatch. But yeah, that, I was going to pay that because it's happening in Fordville, so I cut the lock and turn it off. Oh, there you go. And actually, it was similar to that in Rockport. Somewhere yeah, in Rockport, they tried to fill up badges. Well, they, they climbed up on the roof. Yeah. You guys are a little more, <laughs> got more initiative than we have. <laughs> Any other questions on the bills and claims? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign, the bills and claims are paid. Uh, uh, Judge, I'd like to make a motion to pay the golden shovel <coughs> for their maintenance fee. It was 706 D1 and some change when the, when the invoice comes in. You hear a second? What's the goal of the show? That's that internet thing that we approved for the whole season. All so seasons. Second by I'll Jason Bullock to allow paying the right to check. Yes. Any, any questions? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. That motion passed as well. Uh, <coughs> We want to mend the standing orders for the sheriff's maximum salaries for the deputies and assistants. Uh, that's because of the uh, increase at uh, mid mid calendar year, which would be first of the fiscal year, right? The CPI raise. CPI raise. Yeah. So moved. Motion by Larry Cam. Second. Second by Larry Morphew. Any discussion? Being none. All in favor say aye. 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 Post like sign, motion carries. Uh, and, and the same with the uh, county clerks. I'll make most of the except the county clerk. Uh, motion by Jason Bullock, second by Joe Barnes. 
any discussion. But you just might want to tell why we do that because their budget starts at the first of the year yes. and ours is on. It's called an amendment because we set one er, uh, for the first of January and then now that it's changed at the mid of their year, <coughs> it's amendment yeah. to, to it. Whereas you'll see an amendment on the counties, it's not an amendment, it's the original. Because ours, we're on a, on the uh, fit, uh, fiscal year. The retirement also changes July 1, so I have to account for that. Okay. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. That motion carried. Okay, now then for everybody else, it's the, it's the original setting of the annual compensation schedule for all of the other employees reflecting the CPI. Motion by Larry King. Second. Second by Larry Morphy. Is there any discussion or questions? Any discussion or questions? Being now uh, on favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carries. This next one is going to be a, a tiny bit confusing. So I'm going to let Ann explain how this came about. Um, when we had the first reading of the budget on April 27, we sent it up the, to the state with full expectations to get it back within two to three weeks. So we went ahead and scheduled the second reading for May, the end of May, May 25th. Well, they didn't get the budget back to us until June 9th. So they're requiring us to have a second second reading just to, as a matter of paperwork uh, so it'll reflect after the date that they approved it. Even though they did, they, they didn't change, change anything. The no. Here's a copy of the paperwork if y'all want to see it. Right. I'll make a motion. Just a formality, isn't it? So yes. I'll motion by Jason Bullock, second by Joe Bond. Any discussion? Being none, I think we do a roll call, Miranda. All right. Count? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Um, at the last meeting, we passed the administrative code, 2021-5, uh, and it's, it's an ordinance, therefore we have to uh, have a second reading on it as well. Motion Blair can second. Second by Joe Barnes. Any discussion? Any discussion? Again, uh, it's an ordinance, so roll call. Count? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Okay, Sheriff uh, Tracy Beatty, could you come and talk to us? guys tonight I'm here to ask you for some money I know I usually when I come around I'm begging and borrowing uh, I don't have a line item for vehicles in my budget and I have to come and ask you for those and I know it seems repetitive but uh, we had a vehicle that was uh, in an accident back in uh, March and it totaled the vehicle out everybody get one I got two uh, one of my uh, one of my deputies, uh, she was operating a charger and went off the roadway, hit a tree. Uh, just a, a mistake in her driving. Nothing, uh, nothing that we took any action on. Uh, just an accident. Um, I've got about four Crown Victorias that are ready to sell. We've got most of those surplus through the court. Um, I've given you an estimate about what I think they'll bring. Uh, we were able to buy the salvage charger back. Uh, bought it for $200, I think is what we gave for it. And we hope it'll turn over some money, maybe bring 3000 We hope the engine looked like it was still good and transmission uh, in it. And uh, along with that, uh, and the insurance check off the car. We only got $15,500 out of the car. It was a 130,000 mile car uh, and the value was uh, depreciation on it or whatever had really decreased. So uh, the replacement on that car is about uh, uh, $33,000 and that's being really conservative. Um, 
I, I think it, it may cost a little bit more than that, but I think we can find one for that. Uh, I looked at used uh, cars to replace it, and a used charger like that, they want $20,000 for right now. Uh, and we can buy a new one for 33. Uh, actually, we're looking at pickup trucks this time, something maybe we can pass back down through to some of your other departments. Uh, I know it's a while before we're able to pass those down. Uh, when we, when we, you know, usually we've been buying two cars a year and we try to bump whatever's left down. There'll be just a few months on getting you the other two that's going to be paid for co severance, but okay. a little bit. We'll be a long, long time, but it'll be a little bit. So uh, be nice if we can do this, guy. Yeah, if it, what I'm asking for is $16,500. That's the difference that I can't make up uh, with what I'm selling here uh, to, to try to buy another one to replace that car. Our insurance is on a $10,000 deductible. Uh, I know that saves y'all money, but it hurts me when we wreck a car and I don't get that full amount out of it. Yes, sir, Larry. Uh, was you going to replace it with a truck? Yeah, I think that's what we're looking at. We and that's what the equipment for the other equipment won't fit in it. Correct. Okay. Now we pulled radios, sirens. Uh, it, I estimated eight thousand. I think we can get it less than that. The the console and stuff won't fit from the charger to the truck and the cage, of course. But we we've, we've salvaged the radio, siren, siren box, and control box. So I. I'm just estimating that. So, um, like I said, with the insurance deductible, what it is, I know that saves the county a whole of money, and, and I'm good with it. But just when we wreck a car, it's it's when I only get fifteen thousand dollars out of it, it hurts us. So, yeah. I'm asking you for that sixteen five. If you could come up with that, I would greatly appreciate it, and we'll try to get something back on the road for the deputies to use. Make a motion as long as we yes, yes ma'am. Motion. Yes. Motion by Joe Barnes to uh, allow that uh, 16500 and to pay it from reserves, authorize the writing of the check, and a second by Larry Morphew. You got it, Larry? Yes. Okay. Is there any discussion or more questions for the chair? How long would it be before you'll be able to get it? It looks like about 14. They said 14 to 24 weeks, so it, it's going to be a while, but we've got a couple of these Crown Victorias we we're sparing to get by on until we get something else. So When, is it, when do they go up for sale? Uh, well, we've got them surplus. We're just kind of holding off to see what we can. Yeah, uh, they, they ain't been put on that. No, not yet, not yet. But we'll gov deal those, gov deals right. those. We've got a couple of military trucks we're going to try to sell, uh, big trucks. Uh, one of them I think Nick looked at. We, Thought we might be able to get the road department to use it, but it's so big, I don't think it would work out for them. They don't fit their fifth wheel hookups that they've got. No. Yeah. It's a, it's a Tracy, you try to, uh, I the see where there's an estimated value of those uh, Crown Vicks at about 1500 uh, The way used cars is selling, do you think that may be a conservative estimate? I'm conservative with that. I hope I hope they bring $2,000. But I, I, I know one of them the computer's out of and it won't start, so that'll bring our average down. So uh, anything that I can get more of there, I'll let you have that back. <laughs> if, if, you uh, get, that was my if you can get that, I'll, I'll promise you I'll do that. Okay. Yeah. I hope it. I hope you know. I estimated that uh, wreck car at that, but who knows what it'll bring? You know, it has a good engine in it, and it's a Hemi engine, so it could bring more. Yeah, than that'll that. that'll uh, that'll up the price. Yeah. Right? It, 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 it probably and it should bring a little more than that. Uh, I, I know that they will bring at least that. Uh, if no more questions, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. One other thing I have just briefly for you. Um, I lost another employee this week to another department. Um, he went to work for about 80 some cents more uh, an hour at a local department here uh, in the county. One of the other departments is $2 ahead of us now in Beaverdam. So uh, keep me in mind in the next budget, I'm going to be coming to see you to try to save our good help and keep our good deputies here. Uh, it's hard to train them. It's costly. And uh, the, the, there's not many applicants right now that want to be the police. Yeah. So I uh, just want to put that bug in your ear. We'll be to see you in this next budget. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. Uh, next, we're going to bring up Charlie Shields. 
about it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to follow that or not. Uh, you want any money, Charlie? Or? Well, that's down the. I'm going to tell you all the good news first. Uh, first thing, I'm going to give you all the update on Rochester Dam. We started back to work on the Rochester Dam on June the 15th. They uh, have 90 days to get all the river work done when that should put them right at September 13th. Then the, everything should be totally done by October 13th. Then from that point, they're actually going to build us a road and we're going to apply for a boat ramp to put in the park system boat. And that way we'll have a boat ramp on the lower end of Rochester Dam. So they're down there working on that right now. So with that being said, uh, we're getting ready to start the project on Dundee Narrows. Start July the 6th. We're going to shut down the Dundee Narrows Road for 30 days. Uh, we do have FEMA helping us on that. So there's four sites up there, site one through four. Uh, we will be getting 100% of that reimbursed. Uh, we got to do some bioengineering, some different things on it this time, but uh, we're going to mobilize and Nick's going to have the guys up there five or six guys, I forgot which one it is, but we'll be up there July the 6th to hopefully July the 30th. And uh, the reason that is, we contact the Army Corps engineers, they have stopped releasing water three weeks ago, and hopefully it'll drop. It's gonna be dropping enough before we can get in there to it. Are you gonna drop piling in there, Charlie, or what? No, uh, the way Nick's gonna do it, he's gonna dig him down to the good dirt, then he's gonna make a keyway, or a keyway, a keyway, or whatever that is. Okay, yeah, fill it with shot rock. Then we got to put some soil over it and seed it and all that. We run into a little problem with the bats and the mussels. But I got all the permits straightened out on that. So uh, he's going to be doing that on all four projects. Uh, now I saw Patani here. We we signed a contract not too long ago for a di different company for up there behind his place on the project. State's already approved it. It's already went through the first stage of FEMA and Atlanta. Uh, we're waiting on two more stages to get it approved. Then we'll be starting on that project back there to get that log jam out. So three years, ain't it? Three years we've been working on this. We probably saw more headway than we've ever seen with that. Uh, and on that on that uh, narrow Sunday, also there's some matting goes down, and the soil put on it, and it'll be sewed down. And it'll be a, it'll be a, a very pretty too. Yeah. It will. We got to catalog every tree that we take out. Uh, some hoops we got to jump through, but to get all of our money back, it's worth it. So that's where, that's where the river jumps out, of, jumps it off its banks and heads out into the bottoms, and that's what creates the erosion. Correct. And uh, there's probably about 40 trees that we're going to have to take out and to make everything back right, so it won't happen again. So now on to the final topic. I think I've talked to each one of y'all about what I called y'all about, about the John Deere Gator uh, for solid waste, picking up garbage. What we're averaging right now is about 30 to 35 minutes a mile walking. With doing it like this, we can average 10 minutes a mile. Uh, Nick Woolen was actually in Florida too last week. He saw the same thing. And uh, we've done the, I've done the research on it. Got, and he, everybody got a packet in their upper. Okay, and it's actually it's got labeled out how much we'll make back off of this as we use it. Yeah. It ain't going to say every it week. Behind yeah. the compensation schedule. If it's not there, tell me. And I got some extras. It's a lot like the same deal you have with the pickup. Correct, sir. Uh, I ain't saying we're going to use it every single day, but the days we will be using it, we'll be making money back potentially $977 a week. Are y'all starting to get caught up a little bit on that? Yeah, as soon as uh, Rip has been so great to give us some inmates, and uh, every day that he's gave us some, we've been hitting the roads hard, getting them done, and we've picked a slew of it up so far. Yeah. So, uh, and he's been great helping by doing that, giving and us some more when inmates. When it's not picking up solid waste, <laughs> we can use it to look for alternative sites for roads through the woods and stuff. Yeah, we can make that happen too. Yeah. But what I'm asking, I think I talked to each one of y'all, uh, the sticker price on it, it's a 2021, it's 61.41. How long does it take for us to recoup our money, Charlie? Well, I knew you was going to ask that. Uh, 
a week on this will make ninety-seven dollars. So we use it twenty uh, weeks. That's yeah. So I mean, if we use the truck trailer and all. I I done the thing up here on y'all's thing. We'll be making nine hundred seventy-seven dollars a week that we write back to y'all yeah. on the weeks we use it. Now that's provided we go out. You know, if something happens. Rip don't have nobody. We don't go out or. Yeah. Rain and snow or something like that, we don't, but otherwise, we'll be using this a lot to make that happen. So, how are you going to pay for it? How I'm going to pay for it. I've asked each one of y'all, each one of y'all agreed to it, and I'll take the rest out of my budget July 1. I think each one of y'all agreed to six, seven hundred. But Larry had an idea of taking out reserves. I, I'm game for either which way. Okay, I don't have a problem making a motion to do the reserves. Because it's a good, it's a good, uh, it's an investment. It's a good investment, good plan. We recoup our money, and it may take a little bit, but it, it we'll make our money up. back. That's it what we bought. I know Ann and Ann's had some battles, second. but we make our money back over the long run. I have a motion by Larry Cam, second by Joe Bond. Hang on. Any further discussion? There's something. I was just thinking that I would want to research it, but I'm thinking maybe we could use the ARCA money for that. Because oh. it is the community. Can we make our motion yeah, like that? that? And if we can't do yeah, it. Jason, let the motion reflect that if we can to take the money from that to check the box. And he can write the check because I can have it Monday. Yeah. Okay. All right. All in favor say aye. 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 Folks aye. like saying, aye. Motion care. I don't have the checks in here. <laughs> That's all I got. Thank y'all. Oh, thank you. Next up is Mr. Riprock. Well, hold on. Charlie, do you want to do this resolution? Oh, yes. Okay. Explain that to you. We'll get that done. There's a resolution that we got passed for the FEMA stuff for me to be able for us to be able to apply for the FEMA stuff. We do this every year. We didn't have nothing last year because of COVID, so it didn't get done. So this is the resolutions for Kentucky Emergency Management and for Federal Emergency Management. All that does is gives us, me the officer, to sign that. Of course, the judge has got to back everything up. So that's all this is. Okay. So, Sorry about that. Thanks, Greg. Yeah. So moved. Motion by Larry Markey. Second. Second by Jason Bull. Any discussion or questions? Discussion or questions? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Those like sign, no security. Uh, okay, Rick. Well, I was going to ask for some money, but I don't know if there's any left. So. <laughs> <laughs> You're pretty far down. We'll pass that down. I'm here to talk to you about my employees' what wages. You'll see what they're getting paid. I've been here 22 years. And it's the first time I've come asking for some raises. Uh, as you can see, McDonald's is ahead of my people. Uh, this pumps around is, is, we're just looking bad. I can't keep employees because your fast food is paying more than I'm paying mine. So I'm asking the court to consider, I know this is a bad time, but budget's just a week away, but uh, I need to hear some inputs from you. What do you think we should do? Uh, how much more is it going to take to, to retain it? I would, I would ask for two dollars, bring them up to fifteen. Because uh, one of the things about it, when the sheriffs or police officers they make the arrest, it's thirty minutes in their time more likely. My people are spending days, months, even years with them every day of the week, yeah. and we've had problems inside the jail, and uh, I'm fighting with. Them. We just don't have to, every day's not a good day there, so. Yeah. And could you, uh, you do a, uh, could you do a little bit of uh, calculating on what $2 an hour would be? 80623 Fringes and everything? And that's just for the jail? That's just for the jail. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, we were talking at a meeting last week. Uh, uh, Sam was there. We got to the Bluegrass Crossing. We stopped talking with the state economic development people. And a few years ago, we was training uh, people 
prospective employees how to approach employers and hope to get a job that they were competing for. And now we're talking to employers and tell them how to train and compete for the employees. Just the uh, opposite. Uh, well, I couldn't concur with uh, Rip anymore because uh, I certainly believe in what you're saying and I understand. In fact, they sign when you come in out here what Purdue's paying for 15 to uh, 17 dollars an hour plus shift differential. And uh, as one court member, I feel like we need to, uh, if we can, and we can work it in, we, we do need to address this situation. Well, Here's the thing, and I guess anytime you can solve a problem for now, it's good. Uh, we actually can do this now. Uh, everything we're doing, sustaining it down the road a couple of years might be harder, but with the situation we're in now and some things we're going to be able to pay for other ways, uh, I think our budget as we did it, I think we could, we could handle that. Uh, what was you wanting to do, Rip, on the uh, part time? I know they, they may consider it less, but are you looking to improve? Everybody across the board. Everybody across the board. I don't really have that many full time, part time employees anymore. Do what now? I really don't have that many part time employees. Well, they got, I uh, know on this annual compensation schedule, we got part time. That's what I was looking at. Yeah. Okay. Do we probably need to meet together and look and see because you're. But what about now? What's going to happen when we do this? Um, I see the sheriff sitting back there, and well, I think we might want to check it. with. Uh, we did one a few years ago, and we've been trying to do a CPI raise, but we probably ought to check and see what the surrounding counties are, and, and make sure we're being. Are you having any idea about all the departments? What uh, Breckenridge County, uh, Butler County, Evans County? What? Uh, what, what no, that's just what the people. I have people. Committee to check around Muhlenberg County. Yeah. Uh, Muhlenberg County. Yeah. Yeah. Jails on here. I think oh, I you're going to find it's right now. It's a moving target because everybody's having to do just what you're doing and set well, back, flex. and they are in the process of having to adjust. Well, th this is the problem. I think it's the worst, <coughs> the worst probably, probably the worst place we've got on the thing. But we got it all the way across the board, except maybe at the at the park and maybe a couple other places but uh, we've even had uh, as you knew we have talked about uh, people at the road department and we haven't had multiple employees applications for the slots we've had we just had one each time but this is just one department and this is one department yeah so you know but but this is probably the worst and it's 24 7 they can't shut it down you can't go off and leave it uh, it's well, I know you have several at 10, 49, 11, 15, whatever the numbers, 12, 13. <coughs> How much did you say? Two what? Two dollars. Two dollars. It's 80,603. 623. 23. And that, but that's benefits too. Yes. And Joe had a good idea to have the wage committee meet. I think what the judge was referring to with this ARPA money, I never thought I would say this. 17 years ago, I wouldn't have. But with this ARPA money, uh, it's going to allow us <coughs> to use this money. I think you have, let's just say you have 15 right now. Before COVID, you had 17. So we can pay for those two employees training for a year out of the SARPA money. So as the judge said, for at least two or three more years, we're going to be able to do that. And I, I But I feel good about that too, but what about year three? Well, well, uh, well at, hey, at that, that's point, three years down the road. Yeah. Here's a I never thought I would say this, but that's, be kicked before then. Yeah. I don't Well, isn't the ARPA money going for four years though? Yeah. So is this giving us four years to look at this? This is giving us four years. Maybe we'll have a reason to tell. I think the alternative 
Yes. I understood them right, Judge, at the conference that they should let us know possibly by August what we could do with some of this money. Yeah, at least by then. And we do have some ideas now. That things are keep coming a little down the pike all the time. As a matter of fact, uh, uh, by mid-July, I think we'll have a whole lot of information. I think not only him, but all of our departments, the alternative is that you will have no employee. Right, but what I'm saying is you, we might need to make sure we're equipped to do this across the board. Yeah, absolutely. Because not to not to not you rip at all, but you represent one department coming, and I understand how important it is. But if you get a raise from your people, a couple of meetings from now, another department head's going to, and again, yeah. we're having a hard time to return. I understand that, but look at this way: check these other departments, see what they're getting paid, and see compared to my people getting paid. That. Yeah, and here's your sheet right here. Yeah, that's true, and, and and also it's it's uh, uh, it's hard to keep people there. And like I said, we're in a competitive world now. And uh, the last time I said how hard it was to be a deputy jailer, they took it the wrong way and said insult. So I'm gonna be careful how I say that. But it is a difficult job. How many employees you have? I like to have 16, but we got 15 right now. 15 employees. <coughs> Like I said, I, I would really like to do it, but I'm, I'm listening to you guys. How many do you have, Sheriff? 32, I think. I think it's I don't 20. 20. Well, you're counting the bailiffs, too. Yeah, the bailiffs. yeah there's a lot of PRN bailiffs. So. <laughs> and then the wrong department's about like the jail, so. I was trying to kind of get an idea. How come, how come uh, they're on this sheet? And have you looked at this sheet? That Rex presented? Yeah, yeah. No. Okay. I don't have a copy of that. Well, there's a, after the 1.4 CPI percent, there's a, there's a good bit of people that's kind of fluctuating. And then after, they're all going to 1347. So I was just uh, wondering. Well, we met with Rick tier last level. week, and he had. I was had wondering if that was. That's a tier level. They're getting promoted. But right now they're they're at the same tier level, but they're not all at the same pay. They will be July one. Okay. So you're 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 We've bringing them off. That you're fixing that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can we meet and look into this? Uh, well, I mean, I, I'm, I was telling you, be okay for the, this department now, but if you don't want to, we can sign it to the Wage Committee and let them bring back the next court meeting. But that's after the fiscal year started, and I think he's really <coughs> wanting to do it on day one of the new year. Who's, Joe's on the way, is it Joe and Jason? I'm not on the way, it's not me. Sam. <coughs> Maybe after this meeting, if Cassidy and we could meet, so you can give us some ideas of what you want us to I mean, I, work I'm all to for do. everybody getting paid. More. I've always yeah. pushed that. I just don't want it to be when we're getting into this spot where we're all of a sudden we're doing one department one year, yeah. one department another year. No one's ever happy, which I know a lot of times it's hard to make people happy. Mm -hmm. But then we start going away from the CPI raise, uh, which is what we're trying to keep something to keep on the same market, which I know with this last year in COVID, it's kind of changed everything on, on wages and everything that, you know, like you said, McDonald's and everybody, they're starting to pay a lot more. But I'm just afraid that we'll we'll do is we'll be we'll be taking care of one department one year and then you might not get taken care of for another four years because we're working on other departments. Well, it's next been twenty two year. years they haven't taken care of my raises yet, that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm here for the first time. Well, I've seen, uh, and that's correct. The this year I've seen a lot of stuff happen in through the county and through Purdue also. 
and uh, everybody is having to raise their wages yeah and just to keep people not necessarily to get new ones just to keep them and uh, i don't have a problem if if the judge knows we can get this done and i'm on the way to scale committee but if we can get this done and get it done now instead of kicking that can further down the road then we face <coughs> the other one we have to address uh, that yeah but i do know that you know we can't afford to let our folks go in there. And from that page right there, you know, they're not getting paid very much. And, and if he could get people and couldn't keep it up, and I guarantee you, you're going to pay a whole lot more money when they're somewhere else. Like the ones we had to send down to Christian County when we're over. For, so I would, I would be on board for selling this tonight. Uh, I'll just bring it, I'll leave it up to the I agree with Joe, I think it's going to open up a <laughs> more problems, but Judge, I have a comment too, if I could, and I don't need any ill will toward Rip. I hope he gets what he, he's asking for. But I presented in my budget this year for two extra deputies. I needed help, and it hadn't even been considered. And I, I tell you, my people will be upset. And I'll be upset if, if you give money to one portion of this county rather than giving it to all of us. My deputies need more money. I'm losing my deputies right now because they're making less. I, I have no ill will towards you, Rip. I hope you get what you need. Uh, but I've got to stand up for my people too. But I presented in my budget yeah. for two deputies, extra deputies, that I need desperately. And we do have just, a way. Just want that to be heard. We do have a way of doing that, Sheriff, and we and I will work on that. And uh, the way it is, if he can get more for collecting taxes. He'll go directly to his well, department. Well, that's nothing guaranteed, Judge. That's, that's nothing in writing that we can get. We can go and ask for that, and that sounds good, but it, that's not been done. I think and we the could, last time it was tried, it, it didn't happen. Yeah, I think it could be demanded. We can look into it legally, but I believe we can demand that. But I think you're going to have a lot of upset employees if you do for one and you don't do for the rest. And I'll be coming to see you for more money. Yeah, I'm just look, I'm looking at but like I said, you, know, you do have that remedy that you can go after, and he actually don't. With, unless he could rent sales out, and they're always we full. They don't have tiers any rent. Tier levels, of, you know, I mean, we did this a while back on the wage committee, and how come there's, there's so much difference in pay on their tier levels when they're the same tier? Is it from their, do you, is it from their, is it, is how long they've been there? Six months, a year, 18 months. Okay. Yeah, I was just seeing the yeah. L, L2, I guess that's your tier level. And, yeah. uh, One thing a, that's got us in trouble is over the years they haven't given the, uh, the raises. And then I think a couple of years ago we started the CPI, but it's, you know, one or two percent or nothing, it's nothing. So it, it just keeps us really on the even keel. Right. It, don't <laughs> it. it doesn't get us up in places where we're off at. Right. Really well, the ARPA, who, well, they pay for it. certain right. departments. Are, <coughs> yeah, some like well, like probably he is and he is. No, what they'll do is they will help you get your employment level back up to where it was before the pandemic. Mm -hmm. So, as I said, if nine one one had twelve people January of twenty twenty then they only have nine now, then those three positions, we can use that money to for get them training. in here for six months or a year. I would think it'd take a year to fully train. So that's gonna free up money in their budget. Could we possibly have a special call meeting to address all this? Uh, we can. Uh, I would challenge the Wage committee to meet with it first for the recommendations, I guess. Well, uh, could we all just meet with the wage committee that, that day? I mean, I don't, would like to meet with. It don't matter. I just want to make sure that yeah, we don't and have some numbers ready. Mm -hmm. If you I, do, that you, you have to put notice in the paper and everything like yeah. that. Yeah, since it'll be meeting. If I can meet with Joe and Sam after the meeting and they can give me some ideas so I can get some research done uh, beforehand. And then we can look at next week, maybe have a special call meeting. Yeah. Okay. 
that's what y'all choose to do. So this ARPA money would get us up, but my, my only concern is, it, would, it looks good or we're gonna do it. What happens in four years? Well, I mean, you're you take money away from people. You know, like Sam said and everything, you're you are gonna have to get, keep your employees paid. Because yeah. I want to make sure that we don't get it uh, lopsided. I understand that. You know, but if you look at the jail employees compared to other departments, if if and I'm, I'm not saying I don't agree with that, I do. Yeah. But my thing is, in four years, I don't want to turn my head and say, oh. Well, it's all, it, what happens in four years? That's, I'd like to have a plan because yeah. I don't want to get four years and say, okay, we're going to cut employees, yeah. we're going to cut their salaries. Well, every year our occupational tax does increase. But our budget does, too. Yeah. But we hopefully it will keep up with it. We also have not factored in the rick houses. We haven't saw any yeah. revenue from that yet. And, well, and in four years, those should probably be. And when we did this, I don't know how long ago, you know, we used to surround the counties to kind of set our, our levels. And it could be that we, you know, they were at a low time level and they, they jumped them up and we had them stay with well, them. Not only that, but, but you almost have to look at, look, like you did look at McDonald's. You know, we might be paying more than Butler County for the deputies, but yet, it looks People bad here McDonald's can go to McDonald's and make more. I understand that. There. So you, it's you know kind of two things you have to look at. It's what the, well just like with the sheriff, you've got two cities paying more than he does. I think it's also a time to take a good look at the budget and make sure you know everything's needed. Yeah. Uh, like I said, though, it, it, it's like I said, it's a whole lot of supply and demand. And the thing is, too, with the jail has no opportunity to go after other revenue other than ours now. Right. Well, I mean, you're saying two dollars across the board for everybody, but is that two dollars per position? Just raise each position up two dollars. Yep. Or do you raise to get to a certain point for everybody? We'll cap out at 15. There will always be variants in people that come out of the train. How many different three. levels you got here? We got four. Okay, well, I think what we'll do for now, we'll go ahead and sign this to the committee. And when the committee recommends, we may have a special call meeting. Come back oh, I think we definitely need to look into this. I'm not saying, I think we definitely, but I think that. Like I said, once if we if we're gonna look into it, we need to look into the whole thing because nothing against it. Once we do it tonight, you know what all is gonna break loose. Two weeks from now, we have the same problem again. Yeah. It's and, 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 and I'm not Rip against saying it. Don't get me wrong, Rip. Definitely I'm needs bored. to be addressed. Well, that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna sign it to the committees of now. And then look at next week getting together for a, if you want to. Uh, uh, yeah, or go ahead and set the. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Mean, you go ahead and set a special call. In the worst case scenario, if we don't have all our information together, but we can we, we can call it all. We already have it all. Well, right. but we'll have some figures. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, from like what what uh, Tracy's office is going to cost. <coughs> what you know, we got we got rips. What about next Tuesday at four? That's right. No. Yeah, we, we have training. Can we do it? Can we do it? Can we do it on Wednesday or, or Thursday? Or Monday? Or Monday? Monday's fine. It's Thursday. All right, give her a little more time. That's, that's really rushing it for me. Oh, okay. yeah. Give her a little more time. Well, I'm not, we're, we're, we're already in July next Thursday, though, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, that's pretty okay. okay. I'm doing it. Okay. Okay. So he can Monday, Tuesday. So Wednesday, Thursday. Wednesday. Let's do Wednesday. With the phone. At four o'clock, okay, for everybody? Sure. At four thirty, we'll be done. Okay. The, what's the date on that? We'll do four thirty for Sam. It's hard for him. Thirtieth. Thirtieth. Okay. I've got that. 
Carry over a little heavy on that. Well, the thing about Monday, like I said, at a.m. is looking at yeah. getting her yeah. stuff together. Okay. So as of now, it's Wednesday. Four thirty, correct? But if you have to have it changed, I can. When's your su surgery there? Uh, Monday. Oh, you'll be good at Wednesday. I hope so. Yeah, I don't. If it is, I'll be here. If not. All right, that's what we'll do. Thank you, 4.30. Yeah, but, the, but between Appreciate you guys. Hey, so so, over here. Rip, real quick, I'm going to ask you. There was a raise one time, but now you did it on your own because you, you got rid of an employee to come to it. Right. That's how we, okay, I was trying to remember how. Okay, uh, <coughs> Justin, right. you're up to talk about your he lease. Lost it, your he's never come and actually asked. The um, yeah. state requires a written lease between the Child Support Office and County. And so the child support <coughs> office has asked me to to uh, ask the uh, for the judge executive to be able to sign the lease. It'll be under the same terms. Child support office pays certain money for the leasing of a office down there. So it'll be the same terms as it's always been. They just need it in writing. I would move that the judge give uh, uh, sign the lease for the child support. Second. Second to Sam's mom. So we're uh, we're going to charge Justin. That's not me. $80,623. <laughs> 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 we raised his rent that much. We left. That's exciting. We charged seven. Not me. Okay. A motion second. Any more discussion or questions for Justin? I'm trying to lay it ways to get you in there. Yeah. All in favor say aye. Aye. Folks like that. Folks are back. Now we're down to the biggie. Annual bins. 2020. <laughs> One twenty-two bids. Judge, I'd like to make a motion for contract call that we accept Martin Marietta. Have a second? Yes. Second Larry Camp. You got it, Ms. Miranda? Got it. All in favor say aye. 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 Polk like to sign. That bid is accepted. Judge for Stone, we have two bids we're going to accept. Martin Marietta and Scotty's and the reason we're doing is uh, some rock uh, sizes one had some rock they didn't and due to the availability and price we went ahead and accepted both bids um, so i'd like to uh, make a motion to accept martin marietta and scotty's bid second is that justin are we going to be okay with that? what what's is there a difference in the <coughs> well there's some both. rocks were bid some rocks were not bid in size and, and in some one company had cheaper rock on a certain size and another company their, their rock or different sizes was cheaper. So you're partitioning a little bit <coughs> and that you're accepting the bids on certain rock from certain companies. But, and, and also availability. If you had it one place, you didn't know the other, they were right there. They weren't all different. It was like I said, different prices and some even, some rock were bids, some rock were not bids. You know, there's a whole list of all the different rock. We can read them all out. Okay. Uh, I have a motion by Jason. And who seconded it? Murray. Second by uh, Larry Morphew. You got it, Miranda? No, hold on. No objection from either company that you heard. Go ahead. Well, only one was there. Okay. Bullock and Morphew, correct? I'm sorry? Bullock and Morphew? Yeah. yeah. So I need mean, uh, what you need to write down. <coughs> All in favor say aye. Aye. Hold the like sign. That is accepted. Okay. I, I've got the uh, primer tack and RS2 oil. I want to accept the asphalt materials. There was the only one bid. Second is motion. You have it, Miranda? Yes. Motion by Joe, second by Jason. Any any discussion on that? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign? Hey, real quick, should we let you know like three and four? I mean, public note that there were no bids on that. Do we have to let people know that like, concrete mix and that, would, there were no bids? That just probably be good for the record. Yeah, just enter it in the record, Miranda, that there were no bids. Concrete bid and concrete in place, steel pipe and steel band, or pipe bands, there were no bids. There was no bid on and gasoline, there was no bids. Right. Yes, make, make that public. Any equipment, vehicle, lease, rental, I got it. 
Uh, Miranda, did you also get diesel fuel and gasoline along with uh, equipment lease, vehicle lease? Yes. That had no bid? No so bids. we can clear up the no bids? Three, four, six, and eight, no bids. Yes. Okay. Uh, I would move that Scotty's uh, bid be accepted for blacktop, uh, $63.33 uh, at the yard, uh, $69.95 put in place. Second. Motion by Larry Cam, second by Larry Morphew, accepted for that, uh, the bid of Scotty's, the blacktop. Uh, plastic pipe used for coverts. We had three bids and we want to accept them all. Uh, on our availability, there was uh, Ohio County Farm and Garden, Ferguson Enterprises, and Frontline. I'll, um, a second on that one? Yeah. Second by Larry Cam. And the reason some of them didn't <coughs> have some of the sizes. 48 and 36 and different. Right. Okay. Uh, I'm going to ask for two votes. All in favor on the uh, uh, black top. We missed that one. All in favor? Say aye. 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 Both like sign. Now then, on the one that Larry, most uh, we just made on the pi on the uh, pipe. Uh, all in favor? Say aye. 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 Both like sign. That that passes as well. Judge, Judge, do you have one on the black top? Yes. Okay. Judge, I'd like to make a motion on the electrical and HVAC service agreement. Uh, we accept the only bid we had. Complete comfort. I'll second. Motion by Sam Small, second by Jason Bullock. Any discussion on that? None. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Okay. I'm next, number 11, I would like to uh, accept the bid from ComCare for ambulance service. Only bid on that one? Only bid. Now I had 10. No, <laughs> A second on that? I'll second. Thank second you. with Joe Barnes. Uh, discussion. Uh, I, I'm going to uh, say um, really proud that we've got our ambulance service, but I want to continually challenge uh, our services for our future to try to do things that we can do to uh, get as much money as we can from the uh, insurance companies and Medicare, Medicaid, and all them so that. Uh, our price, our subsidy won't go up, and hopefully someday go down. So that's a challenge. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like so. Uh, next bid. Oh, was that it? That was it. Yeah. it. All right. Uh, Larry Murphy, I'll tell you too, this is the fastest we've ever got through our bids. <laughs> uh, and, uh, we're not going to have to do a closed session, so I need those personnel things. Uh, the first one is the uh, Okay, I don't have the one that we agreed in closed session the other night. I mean, special session that we hired by, by uh, merge. merge the order. You have three? How many do you have? I've got three. That's all I have. Okay, you remember that gentleman's name? I showed it to all of y'all that night. Okay, I don't have a form. I don't know what you said. Okay, <coughs> we'll fill in. Do you remember uh, Cassidy? That's what we're trying to think where, of. Where was he hard at? Road Department. Road Department. Was it he went to work like Sam with, Minton. Who? Sam Minton. Sam Minton. Yes. That's the first one I'm going to put up. Is Sam Minton? What? Okay. I don't know. I can go find out. No, the separate. Uh, Let's just, yeah. we'll fill it in. Yeah, I told y'all last week. Just put it in there uh, 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 at the uh, oh. community. Uh, or at the, at yeah. the appropriate level. Yeah. That's what I did. Sam meant the appropriate level. I wrote that. What effective date? Uh, last Wednesday. Okay. 
McCown? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Um, next one I have, road department, full-time, uh, truck driver, Johnny Mosley, uh, at 1547 per hour. He's a grade two with the class A CDL. Uh, so. Effective. Okay. Effective. Effective. 622. Count? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. <coughs> the next one I have is at the uh, park. And it's a status change. Uh, full time going from level one to level two. Philip Wade, he's been there a long time. Uh, and uh, move in from uh, 1301 to 1376. Uh, effective 7 1 21. Roll call. Count? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Uh, the, the, the last personnel thing I have for the evening is I'm going to change our animal. Well, I've talked it over with uh, Dan and others. We'd like to uh, change our ACO, Animal Patrol Officer, Matt Daniels, from uh, hourly to salary. Uh, his hourly rate was $15.40 per hour. I'm going to change his salary to $800 a week. That's roughly based on uh, 45 hours. Is this due to some overtime problems? Or it is, and, and uh, confusion on when he can hours. go and all that. So, Hang on a second. Please. What would that make annual salary, Judge? It's 41000 I believe that's what we say, 41000 How much overtime do we say we usually typically did that? Yeah. Uh, about... Don't hold me to it. Eight thousand, seventy-five hundred, eight thousand. Okay. So this would take out the overtime, then it would just. So he will be on call now, like in the weekends. <coughs> he was anyway, but we had to either give him time off or overtime pay. Right. Okay. So this job requires uh, twenty-four hour call. Yes. Do we, do we utilize him a lot on the weekend? Oh, yeah. What is this pay now? 1540. How, how much is this going to affect the budget? It was within $1,100 of having enough by the time you take all that overtime. Plus or minus? Might short just a little bit. But uh, he, he would take, uh, and we would without him a lot because he'd take time off for when he didn't work done. And we're needing, and we're needing those calls. I get. Uh, he does the very best he can do. We're lucky to have him. It makes a difference of uh, about seventy dollars, a little less than seventy dollars a week by moving on good roll call. Cam. Yes. Morphew. Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yeah. You said that was $800 a week? Yes. At the, at the current pay, if you pay $45 five hours overtime, it would be $731.50. So we're a week. So you're, you're just a short. Yeah. Just a shy short of $70 a week. Is what it's and we'll get more time because, like I said, now he's having to take off time for a lot of that overtime. Uh, on committee reports, uh, is there any committees to report tonight? I have one more thing, Judge. Um, Mr. Morphew, you said that Okay, I guess you'll go for committee reports then. Okay. Um, 
two months ago, we did a first reading on a budget amendment for the ARPA money. Then DLG said we did not have to amend it in. Last week, DLG says we now have to amend it in, even though we aren't spending the money or don't really know how we can spend it in totality yet. So what they want us to do is an emergency amendment for this ARPA money, um, and it only requires tonight's reading. And they've approved it as an emergency. So just sure. make this amended into the budget for this amendment, yeah. wasn't it? Do you motion? I'll make the motion. Yes. I'll say. We have a motion with Jason, second with Joe. Any further discussion? Being now, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, uh, like sign. It's an ordinance. Well, it was an ordinance, and now it's an order. Do you want to do real well? It, it's a one reading ordinance, basically. Okay. Um, it's a special deal. Yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. Roll call it. Kim? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Uh, one we'll point the new committee was in committee reports for ARPA for special uh, needs things uh, that's on the list can be done. Uh, it, maybe a component between uh, the jail and and, and uh, maybe alternates with the court too as far as uh, uh, we can use some of this for some rehabilitation rehabilitation money but we will make dang sure that it's spent wisely and effectively so i'm pointing the committee to work on it uh justin cam um, ronnie schroeder from the jail and uh, uh, I want point one from the sheriff's office that when sheriff you tell me who you want on it, you know off the top of your head. No, but I'll get you one. Okay, and whoever the sheriff points. And uh, <coughs> and I told Ronnie that she would get hope to the other committee members and set up a meeting when we get her a folder together with with options. Um, is there any other committee reports? Judge? Yes. I do got one thing. Uh, it's on a road folder. Plainfield Road? Yeah. I forgot to mention that a while ago when I was up here. Uh, we put the advertisement in the paper and we're going to be putting the signs up for the, be closing the landfill road. We just need you to appoint a committee for that. Viewing committee. Viewing committee for that. Uh, Charlie Shield, uh, Nick Woolen, and Josh Wright. Okay. So when we close that road, though, what happens when we rebid this contract? Who's taking care of the road? Because this company, they're going to take care of the road. Republic. Them. Republic, yeah. They're going to take care of the road. But they want it closed. Like they, they want it closed. Because right now what happens is it's a county road. Yes. And the gate right there is on county road. Mm -hmm. So legally, Justin, correct me if I'm wrong here, but legally, we you can't have a gate. Cannot have a gate. So but what happens if they leave? Do I now? Just open the road back up? Or? No, whoever gets contract in the future well, that, 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 yeah. agree, if we ever had a reason to reopen if we go through the process and reopen they all they they'll keep the road anyway yeah, yeah. they'll maintain the road okay so, so we'll make sure if they're not a landfill and want to use something else in the future okay and we're trying to put something in a future agreement once we that's exactly that comes we, up in 27 that, that comes up yeah about okay. five years probably or so so we can put it in there that we always have the option to open back up yeah. with that company did anybody else's committee meet since we were here two weeks ago? If 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 not, uh, uh, I want to go and give you my COVID update. Uh, I'm disappointed in our county's level on the vaccination. We got a report today, and we're at 29 percent of vac county vaccinated, and that's uh, just like one percent being the very lowest in the in the Grand region, and uh, they, 
and the one one of them that the uh, judge executive and, and the county officials doesn't even endorse the uh, vaccine they've got one percent more than we do vaccinated uh, so uh, we're doing badly in that we had seven cases today which is the worst we've had in a while we've had zero several they had seven today joe knows one of them well uh, two of them joe knows two of them well uh, so uh we're, we need to keep in mind that's still out there we're so happy to be back to some, somewhat normal life but the virus is still there and i think we should all preach the vaccine that's that's my uh, COVID report. So now then, uh, Maastricht, Sam. Uh, I have nothing to do. Jason. Not right now. No, thank you. Uh, Judge, I just want to know if you heard from our individual that's uh, working on the jail. If we, if he, has he got back to you or anything? Yes, he talked to Charlie today. Yes. Uh, anyway. Right now, out of the three counties, Rip's the only one that's completed the paperwork to get it back in. Uh, we're waiting on Butler County and Epson County. I will contact the county judges of their counties tomorrow and see if they can speed that up. Uh, we got the Rip, Rip got it right back real quick, and he's already got the foundation laid out for it, just waiting on their paperwork. Then they'll, they'll be coming down and talking to them. And we'll probably get the bill next month. Yeah, the bill will be coming to Ann. Ann's already contacting him. Uh, has she got authorization to pay the bill? I've already written the check. Yes. We're just okay. holding on to it until they send it. I thought we'd already. I thought we'd already. We'd already, we'd already, we'd already, we'd already um, That's all I have to. Okay, Larry. I talked to the road secretary today, and if you could follow her up, if we could get the ramps cleaned it on Green River for the before the festival, okay, the Green absolutely. River Catfish Festival, because there's a lot of people that put sand in Cromwell. Yeah. And have you too, actually. Yes. So we'll get yes. them both clean. Uh, we inspected Rockport, but they don't go to Morgantown from there. Mm -hmm. But we're still going to do some work, and I'll remind them of it too while we're talking about boat ramps. That's all I have. Uh, one thing in your district I had a request on. Uh, we'll look into later. Some people requested a one-way road. We're at. Uh, it is uh, between Rosine and Horse Branch, Alford Road. One in one way. Uh -huh. We'll look at it later, but that's just the reason I mentioned that. Just get, get, get in, can't get out. It's not a dead end. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> no, no. Uh, no, it's it got two, two ways. And, and it's very narrow. We've got a lot of narrow ways. I, I don't know if it would be practical or not, but we'd look at it. And that's a, one suggestion. There's been many near accidents on it. Since we got a new clean, uh, smooth road, it's real narrow and real smooth. Uh, so I yeah, blocked off it two years ago. Yeah. So anyway, that, has anyone else got anything for the good of the body? Yes, Mr. Haynes. <laughs> I just want to uh, thank you for having that other meeting over the river. I was glued to my seat. I wanted to get up and talk, but I didn't have, I had a lot of good to say, but some good not to say. I was surprised that Jeff Jones was here because I think we all know he ain't gonna get nothing done. Uh, I am going to start going to the Ohio County soil conservation meetings because uh, when I found out about Darren Luttrell and that, I thought, what have I been doing all this time? I mean, I've got dump truck loads of my farm going down Rough River. And if that's not soil conservation, I don't know <coughs> what is. Yet it's pretty evident no one's in charge of our river. And I hope yeah. we can change that and that's the very thing we're trying to do i hope we can change that and if i can be of any help i'm glad okay. to be of any help Pretty because much. like i say the one reason i really want to say something to that meeting was because there's a lot of people don't know what the hell's going on on that river but you hit it right on the head two and a half inch rainfall now we're flooded 
Uh, one, uh, I've got, uh, my son used to work, and, and like I say, we not only have the Ohio County Soil Conservation District, we have Natural Resources Conservation Service sitting there. My son worked there for years. He's in Hardensburg now, and they won't help you do nothing. And I actually talked to Hannah at that office because my son informed me she's actually employed. She's like was my son's secretary. She's employed by the Ohio Conservation Service. And I had a talk with her, and I had already heard this through the grapevine because you know how people talk and everything. And my, I asked my son, I said, well, what did the farmers think of the meeting? And he said, well, Darren Luttrell said it was a waste of time because of the figure that was thrown out here by Raven Hagen and and our buddy Jeff Jones. But you know what? Nothing, nothing's cheap anymore. And from what we've just seen here tonight, everything's going up by the minute. Yeah. Uh, and the, the, I, I feel for you people yeah. with your jobs because yeah. I don't know what the hell the answer is anymore, but I do appreciate anything you've done and like Charlie said I actually called Raymond Hagen today and he said that it's my project is through the state and sitting in Atlanta again and I, I hope it gets out of there but he, he talked positive about it talked positive about it but he, something I, one thing I was disappointed at that meeting also was there was nobody from my end of the county but I slipped up. I knew a little bit about the meeting through my son and through Charlie, but it slipped up on me and I got here, but there was a great attendance from this end of the county. And if anything else comes up, comes up on it, I'll have my end of the county here because we've got lots of troubles up at that end. If you right. stop well, and think about it, I think it, it, what do they say? Shit runs downhill. So <laughs> It's so, but anyway, thank you for anything. Thank you for what you've done. Yeah, that was a very good, uh, productive uh, meeting we had. We had a lot of people with the State Department of Agriculture. We had uh, <coughs> legislators here. You know, it was a broad spectrum. And I think that we got the ball running. We come up with a, a, a group of people who's going to investigate what kind of authority we can set up. Um, my only disappointment of the meeting is the two people that talk the most were the ones that's wanting us to hire them to do it. But I mean, before we could actually come up with what kind of authority we're going to set up and all that. But but if the ball is rolling, there'll be other meetings. There'll be a while before there's another community meeting. But there will be uh, things are going. We'll go. We'll go yeah, I, hope, I hope my job's done by then. It should be, but the things going to have to be set up before we can maintain it from now on. But when has anything else? We're going to call this meeting adjourned. See y'all next week. Thank you, Thank you.